Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Taking time to talk to everyone today, speaking to the media. Um, Terrell Gachet will, will open up the broadcast. Uh, we heard from Jamonte Clark earlier uh, in an all Ohio battle, a 10 round super welterweight fight on Saturday night. We're, we're excited to, to open up the card with this one. Um, so I, I guess first and foremost, I'll give you the floor. Terrell, do you, uh, how was training camp? Um, training camp been good. Uh, I'm ready. I put all the work in. I'm here. I'm ready. Weight's good. Everything's great. That's what we like to hear. Um, and, uh, we, I, I mentioned to I mentioned to Jamonte Clark that of of all the great fights this weekend, uh, you know Showtime and elsewhere, the, your fight has the closest odds, uh, Jamonte with Jamonte. It's it's dead even. It's a pick 'em fight. Uh, does that give you any sort of motivation? Does that give you does that does that mean anything to you, Terrell? Um, I really don't pay attention to the odds because you know I've always been an underdog my whole life, but uh, with with this fight. Um, with the odds, I'm not really concerned about that, but it's a good fight. Um, I'm looking forward to going out there and put on a dominant performance, though. Great. Uh, just so everyone knows, I, I did have to lower everyone's hand in, uh, just to reset the queue after the last session. So if you could please raise your hand if you have any questions, and we'll we'll get to everyone's question. Um, so you're you're back. You're you're in the bubble here, um, in the fight sphere the second time. Uh, how was your first experience? Uh, obviously, you know, not not the ideal outcome for you against against Erickson Lubin. But uh, you know, how was the experience, and what did you learn about you know fighting without fans? Uh, it was different. It was different, but you know, as a um, professionals, we got to make adjustments. I'm just happy that we still got a chance to do what we love to do. Um, with the Erickson Lubin fight, I was off for quite some time, and the bubble it was a little different, but. Now, knowing that, you know, I um, went 12 rounds and I got a little bit more shook, shook the rust off, I'm looking to put on a great show this time. Excellent. So we'll, we'll go to the media again. Uh, please raise your hand if you have any questions. Uh, the first question will go to Jeremy Harridges of Fan Sighted. Hi, Terrell. Thank you for uh, taking the time. I I'm curious in your last fight with, with Erickson Lubin, uh, what were the primary things you took away from that fight? What what did you take away that could help you in this fight? Um, hey, how you doing? Uh, with the Erickson Luba fight, I feel like um, I learned a, I learned a lot. I was able to capitalize on some of the things that during training camp that I was doing wrong in that fight. What you know, obviously being able to let my hands go more with a southpaw and be effective. And um, I'm looking forward to. Landing my good shots. I, I landed some good shots in there, but just got to get get done, get done it done earlier. Did you feel that you kind of had a, a hard time figuring out your pacing because of, of time away, the ring rust? Because once you hit those later rounds, you really kind of pushed the action and hurt them a few times. Um, is that one of the primary things you, you, you noticed? Yeah, I kind of I felt it when I was in there. We as fighters, we always like to say um, the ring – the ring rest won't bother us, but obviously it did. And um, to his credit, he was he did a pretty good job. But um, I feel like I'm more sharp and more ready now. We're working on some different things. Looking at Jamonte and some of the, the fights that he's had in the past, uh, whether it was losing a decision or, uh, you know, going to a draw, what are some of the things that gives him a problem that, that you think you can take advantage of? Um. I know that you know he's a tall fighter, but sometimes he like to uh, he like to fight, and instead of you know instead of boxing, so sometimes he give give me an opportunity to uh, catch him with some good shots. He like to let his hands go, and um, that's what I like. Sounds good. Good luck to you, Terrell. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, next question will go to Michael Ruda. Thank you. Uh, how you doing today, Terrell? I'm doing good, yes, sir. I'm doing good as well. Now, this is going to be your second fight here in the bubble. You know, as you said, the first one, you had such a long time off, and then there was the bubble experience, which is, you know, a lot different to the fighters. Having that experience now, does that make this second go-around 
that much more easier for you? Yeah, it, it definitely do. I kind of take from uh, each experience and just grow grow from it. Like I say, me and my coach say we either win or learn. So I'm taking what um, I took from that experience and bringing it here. And I'm definitely the more experienced fighter coming into this fight as well. Definitely. Now, as well, with it being the Ohio showdown, how much more extra motivation does that give you for this fight? Uh, you know, it's, it's motivation because, you know, we got a lot of pride being from Ohio. So everybody wanted to be the top dog. And um, I'm I'm going to show them Saturday night that I'm the one. All right. Thank you, man. Uh, good luck this weekend. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. I, I did ask Jamonte, so I'll ask you to weigh in. Is there a rivalry between Cleveland and Cincinnati on the boxing scene? Yeah, definitely. It is. <laughs> it definitely is from the amateurs to the pros, you know. So that's going to make for a side fight. Awesome. All right. Uh, next question will go to Jake Donovan, boxing scene. Thank you very much, Greg. Uh, Terrell, good to have you back on, uh, on Showtime. So you mentioned that um, you realized in the past, like some fights, you just started a little bit too slow. You you caught on later in the fight. Like in training, like how do you like prepare for um, like, you know, uh, fixing that in the ring? I'm just doing what you uh, do in sparring. You, you got to work on the same thing that you're going to work on in the fight. So I mean, just uh, being more busy in the ring and working on different things, creating, create different shots, uh, you know, and just using my head thinking. Gotcha. And then um, it's easy to look at your resume and say, okay, well, you know, when you step up, you fall short. But like, you know, looking at your fights, like you're never really out of the fight. So with that, do you kind of view this not so much as a comeback, but as like the reminder that you're still a threat at 154? Yeah, for sure. Once I get past this fight, because we, we don't look past no nobody. Once yeah. I get past this fight, I'm um, open to fight uh, the big fights and, you know, for a world championship again. So that's what I'm looking forward to do, get past get past Jermonte Clark Saturday. And um, I'm looking to fight the bigger names in, in the division. Gotcha. And then I got one more question. Um, a lot of people looking at this fight and they're wondering, like, okay, for all the fights, 154 to get made, how did this one get made? And, like, people have the theory, you're the only guy who's really saying yes when these fighters fight to propose. So what is it about these types of fights that just, you know, that motivates you? Um, I just, um, I, like challenge, I like challenges, you know. I like... I never said no to a fight. It's not hard to make a fight with me. Uh, I just like the fight. So going in there and hearing them say that Cachet got a problem with softballs, you know, he don't let his hands go. So that's motivation for me to go out there and uh, dominate and show show the fans and everybody that I don't have a problem. I can adjust to anything. Okay, very cool. Best of luck this weekend, Terrell. Good to see you back in the ring. Thank you. You got it. Great. We'll go to our last question here from Jim Conlon. Um, hi, Terrell. I suppose fighting uh, Germonte, he has a big reach. So how important will it be to get inside his guard and let go with your combinations? Uh, it's definitely important. You know, you don't want to sit on the outside of the shot. So that's something that we was working on in training camp. We know he's a tall, rangy fighter. Um, so we've been working on that. We have a tall sparring. And I'm going to be ready come Saturday to uh, put on the show. And I suppose, Terrell, you mentioned that he's a tall, rangy fighter. So I suppose you'll be trying to set a fast pace and move him uh, across the ring, uh, move him from rope to rope, and really test his uh, durability and stamina. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've been watching him for a while. We've seen that, you know, he's a pretty slick boxer. He's trying to move. But um, also, he he been we're going to test his chin. You know, he's been touched. Quite a few times, get him hurt. Looking forward to getting him out of it. And I suppose, lastly, for me, uh, Terrell, in terms of that um, last fight against Erickson Lubin, it was a very much important to go away and, I suppose, uh, clear the mind and clear the, the mindset and really start to refocus and come back with a point to prove. Um, I'm sorry. Can you, can you, one more time? I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, Terrell, in terms of the last fight against Erickson Lubin, was it important for you to go away for a time, just clear your own head, clear your own mindset, and come back with a new purpose and re-energize yourself? Oh, that's what you said. Oh, no, I, it wasn't uh, – I didn't go away. Like, after that fight, I just got right back in the gym and um, 
you know, just picked up where I left off so I can, like, I, that Monday I was back in the gym right after I fought. So I'm, I'm definitely ready now. Uh, best of luck, Terrell. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the questions. Terrell, thank you for the time. Uh, again, opening fight on Saturday night on Showtime, 10-round super welterweight fight against Jamonte Clark, all Ohio battle. Uh, Jamonte says there's no rivalry, but Terrell says there is. So, uh, I look forward to seeing it unravel uh, in the ring. Uh, appreciate Thanks it. For having thank you. Yep, see you at the win. Then everyone, again, uh, I'll lower hands. If you have a question, we have Isaac Cruz coming up next. Uh, 